What's good, YouTube fam? It's your boy Tony, aka Descended of Chaos and Controversy. And as promised, I said that I was going to do a video to challenge YouTube and its community guidelines policy. Um, the one in particular that I'm focused on is the part with the medical misinformation um, and how that has been the weaponized policy to put smaller content creators in a chokehold, so to speak to censor us from talking about certain things in, in regards to our health, okay? Um, I've had, I think, maybe three or four videos that had put me in violation and um, put my, 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 my platform at risk. And, you know, I looked at other content creators who have a larger platform and one of which I'm not going to say by name, um, had, you know, said something with it. Uh, how should I say? <sighs> with such condescendingness to how they address the medical misinformation part to say, well, you know, if it's a, if it's a policy that you have to follow as far as the, um, the terms and agreement, for having you know your your platform then you know just follow the rules and i would agree wholeheartedly if that was applied across the board for everybody but it isn't especially youtube itself i mean you 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 contradicted yourself by putting the terms of policy into place but yet you have videos that people can still look at view that if I did it, I would be in violation, but you yourself isn't. Other content creators that are protected that Ricky Manor have pointed out can talk about the subject matter, have details about the things that if I discussed, I'd be penalized, but they aren't. So if it was about the terms and agreement and things that we should follow, then YouTube shouldn't be biased. If you're going to flag my videos and take my videos off, then why are other people's videos still up that are discussing the same thing that I'm discussing? Or videos based on common knowledge about what we already know, you look at it, you look at it as medical misinformation and flag it and take the videos down. Now, usually where I I this is where I fucked up at because normally when I do my videos that are along the lines of discussing things about health issues and stuff like that, for the sake of my storage space, especially in my phone, I delete the videos because it's already up on YouTube. So there's no need for me to keep my own videos if it's already up on my channel. This one in particular, however, I will save. I won't delete it. Because if I am targeted again by YouTube in reference to the medical misinformation, I will have a dog in the fight. Because when it's something that is factual, it is not medical misinformation. If it's something that I am dealing with personal and I can attest to it because it affects me personally and I've been diagnosed based on my doctor's assessment, it's not medical misinformation. Now, as of recent, what I'm dealing with currently in regards to my health, I've been diagnosed with uh, borderline type 2 diabetes. Um, it was caught early. Um, my AC1 levels were... <laughs> and in addition to that, my um, blood pressure um, level was high. I am vitamin D deficient because I don't go outside. I, I can't stand the sun. Um, it, I have sensitive skin. So that's, that, that has a great deal to do with why I don't find myself outside. And uh, those are the things on a personal level that I've been dealing with. Um, I know... When it comes to the issue or the topic of diabetes, it is something that 
those within the black community um, have been dealing with for some time. Um, that has been brought forth and put on the forefront, you know, for, for discussion and, and stuff like that. Um, my, my adoptive mother, she has had diabetes since she was born. She's type one. Um, I seen her take like insulin. Um, I know my grandmother, her mother, um, she had passed away like years ago because her health had declined and she was also diabetic. Um, she was on dialysis for some time. Um, and shortly after she had passed, my mom's health rapidly declined and she found herself on dialysis. Um, my dad, he was a perfect match to donate his kidney. However, uh, since he had the sickle cell trait, um, they weren't going to risk that. So they had another option. There was a cousin that was also a perfect match for my mother and she donated her kidney with success. And, um, she would visit, you know, my parents here ever so often until this whole pandemic thing came into play. And because she chose not to get the vaccine, she was not welcome at my parents' house. Um, the problem that I had with that was that she was good enough to donate a kidney to save my mom, my dad's wife. But because of this whole situation with the COVID-19 shit, that was the deal breaker. Because she didn't get the jab or whatever, she was uninvited. And I personally thought that was wrong. Um... With what I got to deal with when it comes to my health um, for the current um, state of being, I uh, I have to take metformin. Let's see. I don't know if you can see it where it says. Um, I also have to stick myself once a week with this. And in regards to my vitamin D deficiency, I have to take these pills once a week. Um, upon talking to my doctor, there's a lot of things that I have to cut out of my diet. Um, I have to drink more water. Um, I have to have less sugar intake um, as far as like drinking a ridiculous amount of sodas and stuff. Um, got to watch what I eat, the carbs and stuff like that. <sighs> um, I, I implement exercise in my diet, um, uh, which I know upon being a single dad, uh, I stay more indoors than I do go outdoors and stuff. But now I'm walking more, um, I'm exercising more and as far as the eating habits go, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. It's a struggle because there's a lot of things that I'm accustomed to eating that I don't want to give up. But for the sake of my health, I'm going to have to sacrifice that if I want to get better. Um, the lady that comes and, and helps me out with my son as far as like the Head Start program goes for him to get prepared for um school um she told me that her husband who is white i'm gonna put it in there like that because i know upon discussing this um a lot of people have the misconception that diabetes only affect the black community and it doesn't um her husband was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes as well so we were having the discussion based on his eating habits what he had to change and things to help better him in the long run the only thing was that as he was getting better and he was taken off of having to get this um about a month or two after that he has suffered a stroke so that just put everything like back so he had to you know so that was another thing she she was dealing with um and i told her that um my mom had suffered a stroke herself 
during one of her visits doing the dialysis treatment. And that was part of the negligence on, on Hartford Hospital's part. Because, as I said, um, my parents live in Connecticut. Um, but that's neither here nor there. But that's some of the things that is going on with me. Now, I'm discussing this because and, and, and those within the community that, that deal with diabetes and stuff, it should be something that we should be able to discuss. It's, it's not a medical misinformation. People treat themselves uh, differently. Um, they figure out what works for them, what don't work for them. They go through trial and error. Um, and whatever things that are beneficial to help them shouldn't be censored. And then especially if you have a doctor's recommendation, that's the part that blows my mind. How's that medical misinformation if you're getting it firsthand from the doctor? So those are the things that I, I'm, I'm questioning, and that's the thing that, that I'm challenging when it comes to um, the whole deal with YouTube and their community guidelines policy and stuff like that. And again, like I said, usually I take certain videos down um, to save space, but this one I'm keeping. Um, this is a topic that is personal to me and I'm putting it on a table. Um, and I'm open up and I'm opening this, this up for discussion. So with that being said, let me know what you think in the comment section, leave a comment, um, subscribe if you haven't, give me a like or a dislike. Um, and, and, you know, share this video, um, get it out there, help me out with the algorithm and let me know what you guys think. Um, until next time, until next video, peace.